We thought we'd have a nice treat and come to the world famous Hominy Grill. And what, what a star. We have some nice things Chef Robert sent out. Picnic sampler, pimento cheese, oh, wow. ham. These are the fried green tomatoes with the homemade ranch dressing and okra and shrimp beignets. I'm ready to place my order of a whole bunch of Southern Comfort goodies. Okay, are you all set? Yes. I'd like to order the, uh, first of all, the shrimp and grits I hear is the number one. Absolutely, hands down, the best in the city. Okay, so I'll get a shrimp and grits. I'm a little hungry, so I'm gonna order a bunch of stuff. Okay. I would like to try the tile fish, as well as the pork belly. One of the she crab soup. What else did I miss? Well, the, kind of the fun part is you get to pick some of these vegetables. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and things like Welcome to the South, macaroni and cheese is a vegetable to us. Okay. Tomato pudding, um, the okra and tomatoes is also really good. I love our collard greens. Gotta do the collard greens. Chef Robert Stelling, James Beard Award winner. He also visited Guam a couple years back where we did an event with the Humanities Council, Eat Your Heritage, and uh, I had the opportunity to work with him on his dish, and he's an overall great guy. He invited us back into his kitchen to have his head chef show us how they do shrimp and grits, hominy grill style. And by the way, they were voted the best shrimp and grits in all of Charleston. I got the shrimp and grits in front of me. Perfect. Got a little tang. Very well balanced flavors. Gotta have my pork belly fix. And what I heard is just a big thing here, pork belly. So just my luck. Sweet potato mash. That's actually a good combination. This is the tomato pudding. I guess it's a. Uh, it's like got some cornbread in it, tomato. Very good. Pork belly, oh man. So sorry, they only gave two small pieces. I don't know. Just kidding. Mm. Boom. Okay, we have our tile fish, which uh, was explained to us earlier. And I guess tile fish is, it's like a deep water fish, a large fish. It's flaky, almost like a grouper. You can see the, uh, the flakes. It looks so good. I already know I'm gonna like this fish. Mm. It reminds me of a fish back in Guam. Can't figure it out. Kind of like a, a big size pirate fish. It's not tough, it's very light and flaky. Reminds me of home. You gotta have collard greens when you're in South Carolina. Mm. 
And of course, we have some pinto beans. Mm. Now I know why the Humney Grill is so famous. Chef Robert created such a very comforting, very home-like feel, taking South Carolina cuisine to the top. Back to the pork belly. Yeah. Of course, you gotta wash it down with some Southern style sweet tea. Mm -mm, good. <laughs> I really don't know how I ended up with all these desserts and I think we ordered one of each and I'm just gonna eat everything and those guys over there don't need any desserts so sorry guys so I guess I gotta share all these desserts with these guys but you know gotta do one good thing every year <laughs> well and I have to try this chocolate pudding which uh, Alton Brown featured on the Food Network as the best thing he ever ate, so. Mmm. Very silky. Very light, yet yeah, it has that rich quality. Chocolate, you would love this. Like if this. you pass it to me, <laughs> it's cold, huh? <laughs> no, that truly is, I mean, that's perfection right there. You gotta see, if you're ever in Charleston, you gotta come to the Omni Grill because everything that's ever been said about this place is 100% true. Chef Robert Stelling, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, and he's a great chef, and his staff, they're on top of things, so come check out Omni Grill. It's Charleston's such a beautiful place. Can't help but fall in love with this area. Mmm.